You've probably heard about those Myers-Briggs personality types that give you a whole personality profile based on just four letters. But did you know we can also tell what your personality is based on your favorite knife from CS or Valorant? Well, in this video, we're diving into exactly that. Let's start with the Karambit, which you can find in both Valorant and CS, though in CS it's way more expensive. Basically, the Karambit is the Venom gloves of gaming. You're either a pro who's been grinding 15 hours a day since you were 13, or you're a dude stuck in gold or under 8,000 ELO. There's no in-between. If you're a Valorant player, you probably watch a bunch of anime and hated the ending of Jujutsu Kaisen. And if you're a CS player, you're also mad about Jujutsu Kaisen, but still call Valorant players nerds. Hypocrisy, maybe, but that's the Karambit user for you. Next, the butterfly knife, also available in both games. In Valorant, you get flashy effects visible from 10 meters away. In CS, you get a modest knife that reflects your wallet's tears as you inspect it. One costs around $50, the other costs the same but with two extra zeros at the end. Butterfly knife users have untreated ADHD and probably die more often from inspecting their knife or reloading for the animation than from bad decisions. You're also the type who'd rather dodge a game than play without your favorite skins equipped. And let's be honest, you bunny hop way too much, dying more often because you jump like a maniac rather than hold an angle for two seconds. But hey, at least you're still better than our next category. Now we're on to the Talon knife in CS and the Xeno Hunter in Valorant. For some reason, you two are basically the same person. You think you're better than everyone else because you don't follow the crowd. You've probably read Nietzsche and consider yourself the Ubermensch, seeing Karambit and Butterfly knife users as mindless sheep with no taste. You didn't pick the Talon knife because it's a Karambit wannabe, you picked it because it's, in your words, a better Karambit. And if you're rocking the Xeno Hunter, it's because you wanted a clean default looking knife with an ADHD animation, none of that cringy Valorant weep stuff. You're him. Next we have the M9 Bayonet and Kuronami players. You're all about performance. These knives are the stars of all those aim montages and compilations. You saw them and thought, yep, that's the one. You chose a knife that matches your aim style and movement, efficient. No distractions, just a cool pullout animation. Congratulations, you're normal. Then we have the super minimalists with a flair for style. The stiletto users in CS and katana users in Valorant. Your skins are simple, no crazy ADHD animations, yet they make you feel like a silent assassin. You like to hold angles, patiently waiting for someone to walk into your crosshairs. You buy one skin, stick with it for 6 years, and whenever someone asks why you don't upgrade, you just give them that disappointed dad look. Like they simply don't understand that less is more. And finally, we have the default knife users. You either don't care about the game at all, or you still believe communism could work. We just did it wrong. You think a free-to-play game should give you everything for free because, well, you're entitled to it and won't hear otherwise. So there you have it. A quick, no BS look at your personality based on your favorite knife. If you want to win a $100 knife, check out the giveaway I'm running with CSGO.net on my Discord channel. Follow the steps and good luck. Arrivederci.